Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on September 3rd, 2023. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet, and welcome to the Planetary Positions Report, and as well, the volcano activity for this week, 36 of 2023. Right now, going through Mercury retrograde, we did have Venus go metro retrograde with us. Over these past couple weeks, we've seen an increase in seismicity around the world. Having a look at all of our planets in the solar system right now, we've got Saturn behind us and as well Jupiter in triangulation with our sun. And as well, Uranus is hanging out back there. Mars right up in the front of it all. For week 36, 2023, Watch for this to continue as Mars takes the lead here over the next couple weeks. Still got all of the planets on one side, one corner of the solar system. Mars and Earth keep going around by themselves out front as the sun is pulling the rest of our solar system through the Milky Way. So Mercury retrograde will last for the next nine days, pretty much September 10th into the 11th. It will finish its retrograde. Having a look here for the next 20 days with our solar system. Not too much is going to be changing here. But this is an update that I wanted to give every Sunday. I used to give it, and it's been a while. So here we are, September 3rd, 2023. And with the volcano activity report, last time we reported, we reported 49. And right now, we are reporting 61 volcanoes across the world. 61 erupting volcanoes. This is the most I have reported in my history here on YouTube. The last time something big like this happened, it was 52, and that was double the average amount. Right now, we're looking to almost triple the amount. Let's have a look at all the active and erupting. They all the orange icons and the red. We've got the Great Sitkin, and as well, Makushkin, Shishaldin, and as well, Katmai, all through the Aleutian Islands and up into Alaska. Don't mind my voice right now, still not quite better yet, but it's coming. No active and erupting volcanoes on Hawaii right now. But down into Mexico and Guatemala, this is a pretty busy region. Of course, in Mexico City, we've got Popo Paquetato. Down here, Sentia Guito, Fuego, and as well, San Miguel. San Cristobal, Messiah Volcano, and as well, Rica de la Vega. Down into South America here in Colombia, Nevadas de Ruiz. And as well, Reventador in Ecuador. Cotopaxi and Senge. Moving southward here to Peru with Sabincaya and as well Obinus Volcano. Lascar Volcano showing minor activity. Further south here, Laguna, Delmala, and as well Villarica down into southern Chile. Across the Atlantic Ocean now over to Africa. Where we've got the Niragongo and as well Niramiragira volcano right beside each other who are still active and erupting. We've also got El Doño. North 
northward here with Earth Ale. And then we get to Italy, where we have, of course, Mount Etna and Stromboli. 61 volcanoes erupting around the world. Of course, Fegretta Spali in Iceland. Now let's get to Southeast India. We've got Barren Islands Volcano in as well. Cinnabang, Merapi, Karinchi, Dempo Volcano, and as well Krakatoa, Merapi, Semeru, and as well Ejen Volcano. That's a new one. And Luatolo up into northern Indonesia here with Lokan and as well Karangatang, Ibu, and Dakono. Up into the Philippines, we've got Bulusan showing signs of unrest and as well the Mayan volcano, Tal volcano. And then up into South Japan Islands with Nishinashima. And as well, Swiss and Ajima, Karich and Ajima, and as well, Secure Ajima. So three very active volcanoes south of Japan. And then northward up into eastern Russia, Kamchatka with Ebiko, Kermiski, Bizimiani, and as well, Shevelich. And now down into Papua New Guinea, where we have Kadavor a volcano, and as well Manam, Langila, Uluan, and as well Bagana. Then into parts of New Caledonia, Aoba, and as well Edgi, and Yasser. And then southward down into Antarctic, the mighty Erubus. 61 volcanoes erupting across the world right now. This is the most I've reported on this channel. Our average, daily average erupting is 25 to 30 volcanoes. And right now we are sitting at 61 We've got some big changes happening on our planet, and I've been documenting here for the past five years. Watch all of these changes. We're going to put in here all of the earthquakes for the last 24 hours, most active regions. Heads up, stay safe, stay aware and prepared to all of you people in the earthquake zone. And surprisingly, our SO2 emissions forecast is not as intense as I've shown in the past, but we're still seeing a lot of SO2 coming out of the wildfires through BC. Then across the North Pacific, you can see a lot of SO2 coming out of Kamchatka. Looking around the rest of the world here, SO2 models brought to you by windy.com. Stay tuned for the next video update coming as soon as my voice will be able to uh, let me to do it. I really appreciate you all watching today. I hope the voice wasn't too froggy. Uh, I did my best. Much love to everybody, and thank you for tuning in. Hopefully this goes away quickly. Lots of SO2 coming off of Kamchatka, enveloping the northern hemisphere right now. 61 volcanoes active and or erupting around the world. Thanks for watching today. Hope you enjoyed the show. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily news. If you enjoyed today's video please hit that like button subscribe share with your friends and family from across the world 